Packaging a file with InDesign is very important because your INDD file does not automatically embed fonts and graphics like a PDF does. Not packaging an InDesign file can result in missing graphics, missing fonts, disorganized files, print issues, version control problems, and collaboration challenges. Let's try packaging this file. You go to File, then Package, and then the package window opens up. This window is important because we are looking to see if there is an alert to something that might be missing. This is telling me that I do in fact have a missing image and it's notifying me that I'm using the RGB color space for something. We can go to the other tabs to see if our fonts are linked and mine are status okay. I have two fonts linked, links and images Ah, I have an image here that is missing. Before I package, I want to relink that missing image. So I'll cancel out of this. The way we do that is to open up the links palette. That's located under window. And here we are, links. Over here, it's telling me that this tree image is not properly linked, meaning that it can't find it. If you double click, you can go find the image and relink it. Here it is. It's just named something different now, which is why it did not recognize it. So I'll click on that and open. And now it's telling me that it is properly linked now. So I can close out of that and go back to file and package again. Here we go. If I look through this summary, there's no longer any missing images. It is still letting me know about an RGB color space issue. If I go down to my links and images, it's letting me know that my tree image is using the RGB color space. If this is meant for a digital format, that is no problem at all. If this is a professional print project, you most likely want to be using CMYK. So with everything in place now, I can click package again. It's letting me know that it has to be saved before continuing. So yes, I will save it. And this is a default name it gives the folder, which I will just let it be. Make sure that the Include IDML and include PDF are checked. That's always a good idea. Now let's go look at what happened. It created this folder over here. If I open it up, you will see that there are two folders inside of that. One with fonts, and sure enough, there are my fonts. One with any images I used or other kinds of assets. And sure enough, there's my tree image. And it also has given me a PDF version all ready to go, which is nice to have. Here's the source file where I do all of my creating. And here's the IDML file. IDML files allow for compatibility across all versions of InDesign. This means you can save a document in the IDML format in a newer version of InDesign and then open it in an older version. So there you have it. I'll close that back out. Now we have a complete folder with all the assets and information we need so that we can email this to a collaborator, printer, or anyone.